good. Give your neighbor another ten finger woo. Okay. Okay, stop. Let me see your faces. Now, last day of the course, I am going to reveal to you, yes, reveal to you, the secret of how the entire course has been organized. Rubbing your hands together. Tell your neighbor, Oh, sweet mama, I can't wait for this. Ready, go. Tell your neighbor. Oh, sweet mama, I can't wait for this. All right, listen very carefully. Now, Nick, what we have here is really a double journey. The organizational pattern of the entire course is about the path of rationalism and the path of empiricism and how they meet at a magical point. Did you understand what I said? Yes, it Say it back to me, young man. Um, the whole course, we can see, is divided between two lines, the rationalistic line and the empiricistic, empiricistic line, or empiricism line, and they all meet at one point, a magical point. Okay, give them a ten finger woo. Woo! Turn to your neighbor, waggling your finger in your neighbor's face, say what Nick said, ready, go, talk. <laughs> Now, Tricia, here is the rationalistic line. Zeno holds that motion is an illusion, so our senses deceive us. We only get knowledge independently of our senses. Plato holds that, we, that our senses deceive us and only show us shadows, and we have knowledge of the forms inside our minds. Anselm holds that we, learn, we don't learn about God through our senses, we learn about God by analyzing the idea of God. And Descartes holds, hey, you can't trust your senses, in fact, you can't even tell if you're dreaming or not. The only thing you can know for certain is that you exist, and from that existence you can prove God's existence. Did you understand all that, Tricia? Uh, okay. Give it a try, go. Um, the rationalist, we have Zeno, who... <laughs> Tell her it's cool. It's cool. <laughs> Turn to your neighbor. Try to do it. Ready, set, go. Talk to your neighbor. Uh, Plato believed in the forms, and we should elaborate on that. Um, and so believe that he believed that he was Tabitha, everyone focus. Now, Tabitha, let's talk about the rationalism line. We start with Zeno holds that motion is an illusion. If you hold motion is an illusion, that means you don't trust your senses. Then we go on to Plato who holds that the lower realm of the senses is the realm of the cave, the realm of shadows. Only the mind independently of senses can know truth. Anselm says, listen, you can know that God exists by examining the idea of God, by turning inward. And Descartes says, your senses can't even tell you if you're asleep or dreaming you can prove that you exist, and from that proof, by examining the idea of God, you can prove that God exists. Did you understand that? Prove it to me. Ready, set, go. Okay, on the rationalist line, first there's Zeno. And Zeno believed that um, motion was an illusion, and by saying that, he said that we can't really trust our senses, so therefore, he's not an empiricist. And Plato believed in the realm of forms, which was, you know, the perfect realm, and everything below it was just an imperfect copy of that. And so, by saying that, he's saying that we independently of our senses, have knowledge of the realm of forms. And Anselm believes that um, we can know the idea of God, or we can know God by examining the idea of God. So he's saying that we don't know God through our senses. And then Descartes says that we can't be sure of our senses because they deceive us of things even up close. And so, yeah, he's not in Paris this either. Okay. <laughs> That's better than a 10 finger woo. That's a 10 finger rolling woo. Ready, go. Woo. Turn to your neighbor. Say what Tabitha said. Ready, set, go. What'd she say? 